Hi, in this video, we'll be learning how to set up a business email using Google Workspace. So if that's something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so first where you want to go to is workspace.google.com, also known as Google Workspace. So when you're here, what you want to do is click Get Started. Okay, so first we need to find a business name. So let's just use Chat GP. Sean. Okay, and then just put in your details. Then if you don't have a, a current business email, just use Gmail for this one first. Yeah, so it's asking if your business has a domain. So let's assume you don't have anything you're just starting out your business and you need everything so the domain the email so we can do that all through google so we can write no i need one then you're going to search for the domain so what was it chat gps sean.com great so it's available here and then you can just purchase the domain and then click next then you put in your address and then a phone number. Okay, then click next. No thanks. No thanks. So you see now it's telling you that you can create an initial email. So let's just use my name, Sean, and then a password. Okay, so let's just do password. Okay, then click agree and submit. Okay, so it's just gonna ask for you for which plan. I think we can just use, they recommend the business plan, but we can, um, use a different plan. So first they don't let you change it to the starter plan. So first we can just click uh, try for 14 days. Okay, so we entered our payment details and just double check again and then click agree and continue. Okay, great. So now our account has been set up. So let's just start setup. Okay, so make sure you enter your the email that you just purchased. So Sean chat GPS Sean.com and then enter your password. Okay. Okay, so this is the admin area. So we can view all our users here. So currently we just have the one user, seangptshawn.com. So again, first, let's just change our um, plan to the lower cost plan. So we go here, paste payment plus and click upgrade or downgrade plan. And what we're going to do is switch to the business starter plan, as this one is a lot cheaper. Okay, and then click get started. So you see now it's only $9 Canadian per month. Then we're going to click check out. Okay, and then place order. Okay, great. So that's what I would recommend to do because you don't really need the the business plus plan until unless you're a major corporation or you have more, you're looking for more of the features. But if you're just a startup, then just the business starter plan is fine to start. Okay, so it's saying here, the business starter subscription has 10 license limits. So start the paid service to add more users. So since we're in the trial, we can only have one user, but that's fine for now. Again, just up, update your, your tax information once you have that available. So we'll just dismiss that for now. Okay, so 
let's just look at our Gmail account. Now that we have a business email, you can go to your Gmail. Yep, we'll just turn that off for now. Okay, so just get started here and then just shows you the features that comes with G Suite. So chat, spaces, collaboration, and Google Meet. Okay, and then just click reload. Yep, so here again, this is just a standard uh, Gmail account, but it's using your the domain you purchase. So if you're a business just using a Gmail, I recommend upgrading to a Google Workspace account using a domain other than Gmail because it does make you look more professional in my opinion. So next, let's go back to the admin console and then I'll show you how to create unli potentially unlimited emails. They're called email aliases. So enter the user you'd like to have a alternate email. So it's the Sean email. And then we'll create one just for sales. Okay, so we have one here, sales. And then let's do one for support. And then let's do one for just high. And click save. Okay, see, now we have these aliases. So let's try to, let's try to send an email to hi at chatgptsshawn.com. Great, so it did come here. So we see it's sent to hi at chatgptshawn.com. And it's getting sent in the Sean at chatgpts email. So the limit here is only 30 for no cost. So I think that's more than enough. So that's how you can create additional emails. If it's just you, if you're, if you're going to be hiring other people, then they'll need their own inbox. And to do that, you would just go to users and then add new user. And then it'll just be the same process that we did to set up the initial email. Okay. So back here in the dashboard, again, you can delete users here. And then this is our domain. So you can manage the domains here. Okay, and lastly, we can just go over how to cancel your subscription just in case you're no longer active in your business. So what you wanna do is just go to manage subscriptions and then back to the Google Workspace Starter and then just click more and then cancel subscription. So they just kind of hide it a little bit. Okay, so you can just do this process here once you're ready to uh, cancel. Okay, so that's how you set up just a basic email using Google Workspace for your business. So this concludes the end of the video. I hope you're able to set up a business email using Google Workspace. If you'd like help with doing this, then you can click the link in the description to my business, Maplet Media, for more professional help. Please like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.